Hi viewers, welcome back. This lecture is on Annex 13, Aircraft Accident and Incident Investigation. The sole objective of the investigation of an accident or incident shall be the prevention of accidents. It is not the purpose of this activity to apportion blame or liability. As per Article 26 of Chicago International Civil Aviation Convention, aircraft accident inquiry is itself the subject of Article 26 of this convention. This article imposes an obligation on the state in which the aircraft accident occurs to institute an inquiry in certain circumstances and as far as its laws permit to conduct the inquiry in accordance with International Civil Aviation Organization procedure. Article 37 Standards and recommended practices for aircraft accident inquiries were first adopted by the Council on 11th April 1951 pursuant to Article 37 of the Convention on International Civil Aviation and were designated as Annex 13 to this Convention. Now we'll discuss out some important definitions. Accident. An accident is defined as an occurrence associated with the operation of an aircraft which takes place between the time any person boards the aircraft with the intention of flight until such time as all such persons with the intention of flight have disembarked, in which a person is fatally or seriously injured as a result of being in the aircraft or being direct contact with any part of the aircraft including parts which have been detached from the aircraft or is direct exposure to jet blast. The aircraft sustained damages or structural failure which adversely affect the structural strength, performance or flight characteristics of an aircraft is also classified under accident. The aircraft is missing or is completely inaccessible. Serious incidents. An incident involving circumstances indicating that an aircraft nearly accident has nearly occurred. Few examples are near collisions requiring an avoidance maneuver to avoid a collision, control flight into terrain which has been only marginally avoided, failure of more than one system in a redundancy system mandatory for flight guidance and navigation and so on. Incident. An occurrence other than an accident associated with the operation of an aircraft which affects or could affect the safety of operation. Investigation. A process conducted for the purpose of accident prevention which includes the gathering and analysis of information, drawing of conclusion including determination of causes, contributing factors and when appropriate the making of safety recommendations. State of design. The state having jurisdiction over the organization which is responsible for the type design of the aircraft. State of manufacturer. The state having jurisdiction over the organization which is responsible for the final assembly of the aircraft. State of occurrence. The state in the territory of which an accident or incident has happened. State of the operator. The state in which the operator's principal place of business is located or if there is no such place of business, the operator's permanent residence. State of registry, the state on whose register the aircraft is entered. The objective of the investigation of an accident or incident shall be the prevention of accidents. It is not the purpose of this activity to apportion blame or liability. Investigations where an accident or serious incidents occur in a territory of a contracting state. The state of occurrence is to instigate the investigation. 
if the accident or incident occurred in a non contracting state the state of registry should endeavor to instigate an investigation if the accident or incident occurred outside the territory of any state or the location of occurrences cannot be determined the state of registry is to instigate the investigation if the state of occurrence declines to instigate the incident the state of registry or the state of operator may investigate protection of evidence custody and removal of aircraft the state of occurrence shall take all reasonable measures to protect the evidence and to maintain safe custody of the aircraft and its contents for such a period as may be necessary for the purposes of an investigation protection of evidence shall include the preservation by photographic or by other means of any evidence which might be removed effaced lost or destroyed safe custody shall include protection against further damage assessed by unauthorized persons pilfering and deterioration participation in investigation state of registry state of operator the state of design and the state of manufacturer these are entitled to be represented at any investigation any state which when requested provides information facilities or expert to the state conducting this investigation is also entitled to be the representative at the investigation where the citizens of a state have suffered fatalities or serious injuries that state if a request has been made will be permitted to appoint an expert who should be entitled to visit the scene of accident have access to the relevant factual information participation in the identification of the victims assist in questioning survivors who are citizen of that state only receive a copy of the final report investigation if a request is received from the state of registry the state of operator the state of design or from the state of manufacturer that the aircraft its contents and any other evidence remain undisturbed pending inspection by an accredited representative of the requiring state the state of occurrence shall take all necessary steps to comply with such request so far as this is reasonably practicable and compatible with the proper conduct of the investigation provided that the aircraft may be removed or moved to the extent necessary to extricate persons animals mail and valuables to prevent destruction by fire or other causes or to eliminate any danger or obstruction to air navigation to other transport or to the public provided that it does not result in undue delay in returning the aircraft to service where this is practicable release from custody the state of occurrence shall release custody of aircraft its content or any parts thereof as soon as they are no longer required in the investigation to any person or persons duly designated by the state of registry or by the state of operator for this purpose the state of occurrence shall facilitate access to the aircraft its content or any parts thereof provided if the aircraft its content or parts thereof line and area within which the state find it impracticable to grant such access it shall itself effect removal to a point where that state can give access notification the state of occurrence shall forward a notification of an accident or serious incident with a minimum of delay and by the most suitable and quickest means available to the state of registry to the state of operator to the state of design to the state of manufacturer and to international civil aviation organization when the aircraft involved is of a maximum mass of over 2250 kg or is a turbojet powered aeroplane 
information to the participation upon receipt of the notification the state of registry the state of operator the state of design and the state of manufacturer share as soon as possible provide the state of occurrence with any relevant information available to them regarding the aircraft and flight crew which is involved in accident or serious incident each state shall also inform the state of occurrence whether it intends to appoint an accredited representative and if such an accredited representative is appointed the name and contact details as well as the expected date of arrival if the accredited representative will travel to the state of occurrence for the participation in the inquiry final report the final report of an investigation of an accident is to be sent with the minimum delay by the state conducting the investigation to the state that instigated the investigation the state of registry to the state of the operator to the state of design to the state of manufacturer any state whose citizens have suffered fatalities or injuries and any state which has provided relevant information significant facilities or experts release of final report in the interest of accident prevention the state conducting the investigation of an accident or incident shall make the final report publicly available as soon as possible and if possible within 12 months if the report cannot be made publicly available within 12 months the state conducting the investigation shall make an interim statement publicly available on each anniversary of the occurrence detailing the progress of the investigation and any safety issue raised when the state has conducted an investigation into an accident or an incident involving an aircraft of a maximum mass of over 5700 kg has released a final report that state shall send it to the international civil aviation organization safety recommendations actions on safety recommendations a state that receives safety recommendations shall inform the proposing state within 90 days of the date of the transmittal correspondence of the preventive action taken or the reasons why no actions will be taken accident incident data reporting two separate reports for any one incident or incident they are number 1 preliminary report number 2 accident or incident data report database and preventive actions a state shall establish and maintain an accident and incident database to facilitate the effective analysis of information on actual or potential safety deficiencies and to determine any preventive actions required Thank <laughs> you.